Good morning, dear boys and girls. I trust you are well and safe at home. Today, we are going to continue with our database program. The last lessons we were using our VSS team table and we will continue to do so. Today, we're going to learn how to use input marks. So if I go to any of my field names and click on general, you will see down here we have a formatting field called input mask. For that, you may ask yourself why use input mask. Input mask makes the life of the data capture much more easier as we will have to follow a particular format that was designed by the database designer. So for instance, if I had a field name called contact number, and I wanted capturer to only capture 10 characters, but the 10 characters must be numbers. So there's two parts of it. I want the field size to be 10, but I want to make it compulsory that the capturer only enters numbers. To do that, I'll make sure again that I'm on the contact number field, and then down here, input mask, and then I will type out 10 zeros. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the zeros indicate that only numbers may be entered. And if the data capture by mistake types in the letter, it will not allow the data capture to proceed. Let's save this and go into our data sheet view. And here we'll see we've got a new field called contact number. Okay, and let's enter a number at the beginning 0325 Okay, so the database has accepted that input very nicely. But say, supposing for the six, I typed out a G by mistake. Can you see? It will not allow me to enter. So I'm going to go back now and change it to a six. And is the ha program happy with it? Yes, it is. Let's go back into our design view. So in short, an input mask allows us to restrict the format in which the data capture enters. So say supposedly we had another field name and this time we want it to be code. And now we need to use letters and numbers. But we want the data capture to follow our format as to how many letters and numbers he can enter. So we we'll start here with the data tab in short text. Then we want the field cells to be five. And because it's letters and numbers under input, every time it's a letter, the format will be an L. Every time it's a number, it will be zero. So for two letters, it will be L's. Two numbers will be zeros and another letter. Okay, so that's the format in which we are restricting the data capture to enter in. Let's remind ourselves, it's two letters, two numbers, and a letter. Let's save, go into our data sheet view, and here under code, we can enter. So let's remember it was two letters. So let's use K O, two numbers, let's use nine nine, and another letter we go with R. Is the program happy with it? Yes, it is. But say supposedly I entered the wrong thing. I entered two numbers. Doesn't want to accept it. Because we set the format to be two letters, two numbers, and another letter. Boys and girls, input mass assists data capture to ensure the validity and reliability of data and makes their lives much more easier in terms of restricting the, the amount of errors that can occur. For today, I want you to practice the input mask. I want you to try a combination of letters and numbers from your textbook. There's an input mask code table on page 320. Please read through it. 
please remember for a small letter we use the greater than sign then the l and for large ones we use greater than and then the letter so we can use small letters and capital letters then I want you to turn to page 321 in your textbook and do activity two. It requires you to create your own database and set the input mask to basically summarize what you have learned today. Boys and girls, I trust that you would do this work in order for us to progress smoothly when you do return to school, hopefully next week. Take care, see you soon.